Hello, how are you? Hi guys. Nice to see you. Um, we're back at the wonderful St. Vidas Foster Lane, in case you didn't know where we are. Um, this is not our house. No. Um, it's very beautiful. It's though. God's house. It is God's house, indeed. Yeah. Um, he, he moved out a few years ago, but I think he's... It's very good of him. He pops in, yeah. yeah. Um, so, today, we're going to bring you some spring fragrances. It's spring! Finally! It's, it stopped snowing for about two days. I think we're going to have snow next week, though. Yeah, but for at least two or three days, we haven't had yeah. any snow, so it must be Thank spring. Thank God. It's spring until, until the rain comes, and then it's mm. winter. In, in our gothic dark heads. No, I'm kidding. Um, so, fragrances for spring. Um, we've brought four pieces each, four fragrances each, and... We don't know what we've chosen. We have no idea. So, I brought four, and Jade's brought four, and I mean, the four could be, I mean, they could be exactly the same, I don't know. I'm hoping they're going to be different. Uh, as in, yes, as in we bring the same, not I've yeah. brought the same fragrance four Oh times. no, you haven't got four just, bottles. I've just got four bottles that no. I brought, because each one of them is But great. hopefully we will have potentially eight different fragrances. But That's the plan. There could be some overlap. Yeah. We yeah. have great taste. So yeah, we have really good taste. Combine. Um, so, what, what do we think of as a spring fragrance? So I think the, the thing That's is, a good question. A lot yeah. of the fragrances we've talked to, um, we've talked about, have been oud, leather, yeah. uh, resins, things like that. Heavy hitting. Which, which we really like. Because we've just been through winter and we want something strong yeah. which, and warm and cuddly. But now it's, I mean, it doesn't really look like spring. But <laughs> we, when we think of spring, we think of something green. Yeah, green, maybe, fresher. Maybe a little bit kind of herbaceous. Yeah. Maybe yeah. start to get hints of citrus. So something a bit lighter, but something brighter and energetic. And That's it, exactly. And some, you know, something that makes you want to go outside rather than something that makes you want to come inside. Yeah, absolutely. And nestle by the fire. Right, who's going to go first? I think you should go okay. first. Okay, right. This is very exciting. We have no idea. See my first? I'll, I'll cover my eyes. Is... <laughs> oh, uh, so look at this. So this is uh, Citiva. Um, by Duetto. So Duetto, I don't know where, where are Duetto based? Is it um, I'm not sure at all. So it says made in made in France. So they, yeah. they do um Beautiful oh, They do some really um great uh, quality fragrances. So Golden Boy. Um, yeah, is another one, Tuscan which, which leather is, thing. Yeah, which is similar to kind of Tuscan leather. Um, but they also, I mean, I think they're going for quite a kind of urban identity. Mm. They do city oud and things like this. Um, and so this is called um, Citiva, so I guess, bottle. which is, I'm not sure if it's a play on one of two things. So it's it's definitely got a lot of vetiver, which is a kind of a green grassy root, um, which gives it its colour and a lot of its identity. So either it's a, a city vetiver, or you could also say possibly it's a citrusy vetiver because it does have citrus in it as well. But it, mm. it's supposed to kind of take uh, its inspiration uh, from a, a, a city park. So I think it's, okay. it's specifically a kind of New York city park. So. It smells really, really. Should we, should, we, should we put a bit on the strip? Spritz. I'm, I'm eager can... to try this. It just, I get this huge um, kind of swathe of, of green kind of herbaceousness. There's also, there's quite a lot of um, uh, grapefruit. Yeah. In the, in yeah. the opening. And even, and even from the beginning, you, mm. you get. That is um, absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's really. It, it, it's, there's bergamot as well, I think. Yeah, well, there's a little. There's a little hint of sort of Earl Grey grapefruit. Yeah, combo so, there, so bergamot it? is a kind of I I Italian um, citrus yeah. um, fruit, which, which is used to flavour Earl Grey tea. Um, Very beautiful. But also the other thing I get with this is quite a lot, considering it's something which is supposed to be um, vetiver is normally mm. marketed towards men, and it's supposed to be quite yeah. modern and urban. But I, this is quite floral as well to me. Yeah, Especially it's almost like a or linden or something. Not yeah, linden. yeah, linden blossom. Um, but I also get, mm. there's, I think there's violet, and as it dries down, I get more and more uh. violet, and, and it keeps kind of evolving and opening up, and I get this really big kind of great floral scene, whilst I think that the vetiver in, in it gives it this kind of urban edge. So it's yeah. not, it's not uh, an old-fashioned, it's not an old-fashioned floral. It feels quite modern. But it's really got a lot of energy, hasn't it? But it really it evolves a lot, and I think this is a really great fragrance. Um, now, a few people have asked, um, when we talk about videos, we mention how much they cost and where you can get yes, them from. Yes. So, um, I think I bought this from Notino, which is an online website, um, for something like £90 or 100 mil. So, not, Good really, value, not really. very expensive. It's just, it's just above a kind of designer price. Yeah. Um, and the good, uh, Notino is a really good website, which I've... Uh, spent Absolutely. thousands on. Um, but um, <laughs> but they, um, they also do samples. So yeah, which is such a good you idea. Can get, you can get the 1.5 or 2 mil samples. Um, so do do check out this on Notino. Right. Very beautiful. Right, okay, You're my good. turn. 
I have no idea what my first choice is, but I'm going to look in my bag. Give me a minute. So, let us stay with, let's stay with a green theme. Oh, yeah. So, Aqua di Parma, Colonia Club. Um, little green, dinky little bottle there. So, this thing here attracted my attention, first of all, because it smells to me a little bit like a combination of Polo Sport, which classic, is one of those great classic. 80s things, beautiful, yeah. minty, fresh, herbaceous thing, and also Brut, the old Brut, and Huge, the combination, classic, yeah, yeah, the classic. combination is beautiful, I'm going to let Darren smell this, yeah, and also, you may smell this say, already, I don't know, I mean, Aqua de Palma, a, a, a house over 100, about 100 years old, yeah, yeah the, the first, first thing was Colonia. 1901, 1902, I mean, and they're all classy. I mean, these are, I would say these are definitely masculine scents, aren't they? They're, they're marked in more that they're way. They're really yeah. classic um, masculine. Um, so I was, but I, I get this wonderful mintiness from this, which I love. But it's oh, not about the mint. It's yeah, it's not. Oh. You get a huge lot of mint. But I really, I know what you mean by polo. Mm. Um, it instantly reminds me of that, and it still has uh, it has this DNA of the original uh, Colonia Essenza, yeah, which came it. out in about 1915 or something. It still like has that. all the bright citrus. It has this the barber shop. Yeah, aspect. it has this real barber shop, slightly mm. soapy, slightly lavendery feel. But it, uh, this does feel more, a little bit more modern and fresh. Yeah. it's a modern take on on those mm. old classics. I think. Is there geranium, or do I just think there is geranium? geranium. Yeah, there it, is. Yeah. You've got geranium, you've got, you've got really peppermint. Kind of bracing. It yeah, like camphor, which gives it that mentholated oh, thing. Yeah. And there's also almost like a, like a slight kind of chewing gummy kind of like yeah. fill to it, as, yeah. you know, which is maybe from, from the geranium. But I, I just love the greenness. I find it very bracing. Yeah, it's, I mean, it feels like, you know, if you've gone to a kind of gentleman's club in the spring and you want to feel like, you know, you, like yeah. you've just been playing polo or something like that. Absolutely. And you were yeah. going to the going to have drinks afterwards, going to have a gin and tonic or something yeah. like that. This is exactly Doesn't that put you in the mood, what, what you want to smell yeah. like. Great. And, I mean, great house as well. I mean, I, I don't know if we've spoken about this house before. No, not really, no. But they, you know, they have lots of wonderful things to smell. Okay. And they're classic, they're simple, but they're beautiful. And, I mean, price-wise, I think you can get this little guy for... I want to say about 60 yeah, something. Yeah, so that's the 50 mil. That's the small bottle. And then the 100 mil you can get for about 90. Yeah, which is great value. Mm -hmm. you know, and if, you, if, you, if you're going through um, duty free or something like that, uh, uh, then you can pick up on a good deal. So it's definitely one to look out. You see a lot yeah. of department stores. It's quite, everywhere. Yeah. And the, I mean, I, it's so small, it makes me look like a giant, which I am. <laughs> but you can get lots of associated products. Lots of yeah. um, sort of shower gels, Shaving soaps, yeah, all sorts of things. So check them out. Right, enjoy. Next, what have you got now? Next, uh, we are going. Uh, I can find it. Really, really niche, and this is almost the most spring-like um, yes. fragrance I own. So this is from uh, an English house called um, Four Thousand One Hundred and Sixty Tuesdays, um, which is run by an, an amazing woman called Sarah McCartney. Yeah, um, she's a stunner, isn't she? And this is called Ealing Green. And when you, put, when you first put your nose to the bottle, it just smells like kind of freshly cut grass. It smells like an English garden. Yeah. Absolutely it's beautiful. It's so bracing. I, I remember the first time I tried this, I'd never really, really ever smelled anything which really captured that feeling of, of grass, of um, herbs and things like that. Enormous projection as well. I mean, it's, it's very bright, isn't it, on first, on first smell? That is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's so it's so so wow. beautiful. You get I think there's quite a lot of geranium in, in yeah. this as well, which is um which is a floral note which has a kind of a freshness to it, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a all sort of fresh spearminty. Yeah, yeah, kind aspect. of minty, but but I think there's also I get some very herbiness, some kind of thyme right. and things like that, and maybe a bit of basil. Mm. It's so good, isn't it? This is almost like one element of um, of a bouquet garni, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, like it's taken it, one, one little moment of yeah. it and really kind of um, wow. amplified it. But it's so good. And I also love what, when I wear this, I feel it really develops throughout the day. And towards the end of the day, it feels like dry grass, like as if you, mm. it's been a, a hot spring day, you cut the lawn in the, in the morning, you yeah. get the smell of the freshly cut grass, and then through the day it sits there and it just dries in the sun. Um, Who doesn't love that smell? I mean, this, is, Who doesn't love this that? is a really, really great fragrance for an amazing house yeah. she does lots and lots of samples on her website yeah I mean, she's very good she's based in acton i think she's in acton somewhere um, around there or in Wonderful. ealing in fact 
This is Ealing, of course. Well, well, that, that would make more sense. near Ealing, as it's, as it's Ealing Green. And what a beautiful um, bottle as well. Can we just look at that? I mean, the, yeah. that is beautiful, isn't it? But um, she does loads of really great scents. I mean, Shazam is one yeah, that we, 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 we both like, which is a kind of a resiny, warm, sexy kind of scent. Um, but she also does lots of samples and things. So yeah. check out 4,160 Tuesdays, which I find out... That's stunning. If you live to 80 think. years old, yeah. you will have had... 4,160 Tuesdays. Ah! Which is why the name is. What if you're asleep? Well, you're still, you're still... you still have the yeah, Tuesdays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, right. What have we got next? Okay, so next, in the bag of delights... This little bad boy here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's Lothair by Penhaligans. Which is by one of my favourite perfumers of all time, Bertrand Duchafour. Of which you will hear more. We will, we well, will in, another, in another video another time, we may do a video on, on him. Um, this thing was inspired by the Trade Roots collection. Um, and these are the clipper ships that used to bring back tea and spices and all sorts of wonderful things which you couldn't buy in Sainsbury's because Sainsbury's didn't exist. Um, so we have, I'll, I'll pass this over to Dan, we have beautiful, oh, look at that presentation, look at that. We have beautiful grapefruit, juniper, um, nutmeg, fig. Oh, I get, yeah, I get the fig actually, a kind of fig, black tea. creamy fig leaf. Yeah. Um, of the of the Penhaligon fragrances, this is this is one of my but, favorites. Uh, and also, of all but time. the big thing you get, as, as you expect from a wow. Bertrand Duchamp fragrance, is you get that this kind of silvery incense. Yeah. Very sparkly. But especially here, but it just combines with the fig and things like that to get it's this real lightness and freshness yeah. and brightness. It's exotic. Um, oh god, you get a lot of cinnamon as well. Yeah. A kind of sweet, kind of rich cinnamon. Mm. So it, this is this, I love it. this kind of. Uh, I guess you could say it's it is an Oriental. So it's in the same family yeah. as you know something like Interlude we've talked about. But it's a million miles. It's a thousand away, miles. Yeah. That this is light and bright. You know, I think you can wear this with, I think of like a cotton shirt kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of the, the breeze is blowing. It's... I mean, this, this is a combination for me of two types of scents. One of which is, is a sort of a, a fresh juniper gin and tonic sort of yeah, smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then one of them is a, is a sort of tea-based fragrance. Mm. And he's combined the both of them. And then to cream it out is, is fig, fig milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think is so beautiful. And it's, it's got ambergris in the base there. Oh, just lending, how good lending some sweets. Isn't that nice? That's really, really good. And I mean, for a house, I, I have to say, I, I love some of the Penhaligon's offerings. Um, they don't always blow me away. Yeah, and I th but of the, of the ones yeah. that do, this, I mean, this is up there for me. Yeah, I think this is one of the, the very, very best. It is it's one of the beautiful. more expensive. Yes, it is. I mean, this, I think I got this for maybe, at the time, maybe 160, 170. Um, I think it, it was back then. I think yeah. now. I mean, I, now this is cheaper. cheaper. You can get this for one thirty, or even yeah. on if you you know if you look on discount sites. I don't look know. Notino, Notino okay. might have it. Yeah. I don't know. But there's lots of wonderful stuff in this to enjoy. Yeah. I mean, look, the bottle with its little bow is very beautiful. Yeah, they are lovely. Isn't that nice? Right. So actually, I, so it's interesting you've gone for that because my next choice is something which you might not think. Is, oh, is, look at this. It's really uh, an obvious spring choice. So I've gone for um, Two Man uh, by Comme des Garçons. Um, I mean, the reason I say lots of people won't think of this as an um, instance, so you look at this kind of pebble bottle, um, is that it's got lots of incense and mm. it's wood. It's got this kind of trademark Comme des Garçons often have this pencil shaving cedar yeah. wood, kind of freshly shaved wood smell. The reason I, I say call it a spring scent is it's got quite a lot of mint and it's got kumquat. Ah! Um, which gives it this really amazing, I've kind of bracing um, freshness. You've eaten a kumquat, haven't you? It's kind of like. I may have had one on a pizza. See, and that's got that. so much brightness of that. I really get that kind of like, freshly mm. shaved pencil yeah. kind of quality. And I get a sort of just immediately the second before a snubbed out match. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. But I, th I, think well, there's a, I think there's a brightness to it. There is. It's, it's, it's very bright. It's very energetic. And do you know, I mean, even if you don't Silvery know what kumquat again. smells like, there's a kind of bright, slightly bright fruity quality to it. Yeah. And a bit, and yeah. a bit of mint, which, which makes me feel like it's a spring scent. It feels like, you know, maybe walking yeah. through the, the, the woods in spring. So we, we had Ealing Green, which is more about an English garden. This is more about walking through the woods, I think. And that, I mean, that brings me to an interesting, an interesting thought, that we shouldn't think of spring in terms of temperature as much as we should in terms of nature. Um, it's a bit greener. Yeah, yeah. 
trees are starting to, to bloom and blossom. It's not necessarily about warm oh, weather. So this, this has that warmth and comfort, but it also has the freshness. So on a bracing mm. cold spring morning, yeah, it, I can't imagine anything feels like. It feels that. bracing. It's yeah, that. absolutely beautiful. So this is this is from which range of Comte des Garçons? Do they have because they have lots of uh, lots of things? Don't yeah, they? so they have lots of kind of themed range. I, th I guess this isn't one of the themes because there is also Comte des Garçons too, which is completely yeah. different. But this is their sort of it's uh, a fruit I guess um, the this series is, that includes um, the black pepper, yeah. amazing green, and all these wonderful things that they yeah. That they and do. these are quite reasonably priced. I'm trying to think. This is yeah. a hundred ml bottle, and I think it's, is it something like eighty? Yeah, I think about it, that. It's not, you get yeah. these in lots of department stores. Certainly, if you're, you're in London, you've got to John Lewis, Debenhams, or something. They like that. They, yeah. they will have it. They will have it. Again, if you look online, oh, at Latino, you can, it's great, though, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And I, I think lots of people think of this as a Bold winter fragrance, well. but I love it for spring. I think what's, what, we, what we're unlocking here is the fact that you shouldn't necessarily tie yourself to one type of fragrance because you think it's a type of. A season. Every spring day is different. Yeah. Why? You know. Why? Yeah. Why think oh, it's spring now? I'm just going to wear. Don't get one. Lemon by eight. Yeah. At least. Uh, for a day. What's next? Um. Okay. I've got an idea. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. This is an old. For, okay. So when we're going with our, us. Hello. Sorry. When we're going with our slightly <laughs> less predictable spring fragrance, I've got this little thing here, which is from Guerlain. It takes a little while to open the box because I'm quite slow. What is it? That's this a, a beautiful box. Is the mighty <gasps> Derby. Oh. So there she is. That's incredible. That's the box, that's the presentation. This is a, a modern reissued version of something they made back in the 80s, which sadly flopped. Um, Ridiculously. It's, I don't know how that happened. Yeah. If I bought that when I was a child, I would have wear that, worn that in my school playground. So there's the bottle. This is a wood framed bottle. It's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, this is, is traditionally a leather fragrance, but actually, I find this very fresh, very gentle, very elegant, and very green, crucially. I'm going to pass this over to I'm Dan really for his, for I his sniffing. I haven't smelled this for a long time, and I only ever smell it in the department store, but. Oh, it's, got, it's, very, it's got a lot of aldehydes. A huge, yeah, very aldehyde. So, very... so what are aldehydes? Aldehydes, if you've ever spelt uh, Chanel number no. five, that's the key um, aldehydes. Isn't that's it? got yeah. a lot of aldehydes, so it's a purely synthetic note, which has been used yeah. for hundreds of years, which has a kind of oh, an ozonic quality. Yeah, and um, it gives a fragrance some throw and some, yeah. some lift. But, oh. but I, th I find this such a green, fresh leather. I don't know what the original oh, would have smelled yeah, like back in the also, day. Also, I guess the other thing with aldehydes, it occasionally gives a soapiness, which I think yes, has absolutely. Got, this has got a real kind of classic. Mm. Fragrant soupiness. So it's interesting that this was part of the normal Guerlain line, and they've, yeah, now, they've yeah. now reissued it in the luxury line. Which this is a little bit frustrating. But this was a, once upon a time along the shelf with Abbey Rouge, Vetiver, Heritage, all those things. Yeah, and now it's four times the price. Yeah, um, which is very naughty. Um, but it's that's but, the Hennessy people, isn't uh, it, that have come in and done that? But it is a, it's a quality scent. I get a lot, I get a lot of the soupiness. Mm, yeah. And to me, that's not a thousand miles away from your city there in terms of the fact that it has that, it has that fresh barber yeah. shoppy aspect yeah. as well there's, as the There's a real well kind the of brightness. Yeah. And, it's, and it really feels yeah, like walking through a, a yeah. spring day. It's definitely kind of a fresh, cool breeze. It's not one for a hot day, but with kind of flowers. It's got, it's got quite a lot of that's florals it. in there as well. The big thing for me in there that I love is the carnation. Yeah, yeah. And there's, and there's nutmeg and, and some gentle spice. But it's, it's not heavy, it's, it's not cloying no, at all. It's, it's, I love it's, the freshness of it. It's known as it. a leather scent, but it's, it's, not, it's not a big, heavy well, dark Compare leather. that to Tuscan leather and, yeah. no, and Russian leather and Cuida Russi, you know, the Chanel's and things like that. So I mean, how, it's how much leather. is this for a bottle? This, I think, is about 170, 175 now. Mm. Um, so it's, not, it's not cheap, but it's worth checking out. It's, it's worth checking out, and it's 100 mil, which, which will last you a long is time. good value. You know, that thing will last you a while. Okay, right. My last one. Let's what have we got? That. So this is probably my my favourite. Oh, this, wonderful! And this is one which doesn't get talked about at all. So this will, if we were to do a summer video, this will be my summer video as well. Um, I never hear anybody talk about this fragrance. No. This is by a company called Hakels. Um, and when I was um, uh, in Margate, I chanced upon 
uh, this absolutely beautiful shop um, of fragrances made by a guy who used to um, live and work in China. And when he was there, he noted how often people um, used seaweed and then came yeah. back and was in Margate and realised that people don't use seaweed at all. Um, so he's uh, founded a, a fragrance um, company uh, which also do they do oils and things like that, right. um, which is inspired by the scenery and inspired and uses seaweed. Now this is called the very memorable fifty one degrees by nineteen point nine north <laughs> by one degrees by twenty one by thirty east. So have you got that? Um, so it's, you have it, to remember. Obviously, that. It's, a, it's a grid um, reference, um, and it's a location on the Margate coast. And this location um, is a sea marsh where there's mm. lots of wild fennel growing. So this is a, a completely wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. a completely natural fragrance. And it's just... Oh, Let's I, get a whiff of this. It's just it's this, this huge swathe of herbaceous beauty. Oh, it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not somebody who goes out of their way to find, um, mm. uh, to find natural fragrances because there's... there's Nothing wrong with using synthetic ingredients, that but but this is just this. My God. You definitely get a lot of the fennel. Yeah, absolutely. You get this, big, fresh this really fennel. fresh aniseed, and then there's just there's just lots of kind of herbs. I mean, there's lots of That's juniper horrible. and things like that. And the other thing which I do love about this is often with kind of fresh um, scents, especially slightly citrusy ones, they they often don't last that long. Whereas this always lasts at least 12 hours on me. That is one of the most stunning things I've smelled. It's just absolutely incredible. I'm, and I've never heard anybody talk about it. You can, mm. you can now find it in Selfridges um, and, and places like that. So it is getting some, you know, they must be selling them. And I get, I get a sort of gentle sweetness as well, but it's not overpowering. It's yeah. just a little hint of something, and like a sweet trail behind it. And there's suggestions of like cedars and, and yeah. the, you know, bits of kind of wow. woody background, but... It just smells like the countryside. It smells like the coast. It's fresh. It's Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, but it's so interesting. You can just keep smelling it and finding more and slightly more. So, slightly salty aspect as well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah it's maritime. It, it, I wouldn't say it's not. It's not an aquatic scent at all. It's not one of those kind of cheap aquatic, but you get the suggestion yeah, of the sea. There's just that little hint, isn't there? Which I think was God. probably seaweed, which just gives an interesting facet. Anyway. That is beautiful. That's my last one. What's yours? And where, where can we get this now? Selfridges? Selfridges, you can get them online. If Good you buy it online, online from the Haeckel's website, they also sell samples. Okay. I'm going on there as soon as I get home. 160 pounds, but Done. well worth it. Sold. Right, right. so last fragrance. Um, for those of you that know my, my sort of... Um, fragrance history, this may not come as a surprise, it may not come as a surprise to you. This is one of my first niche fragrances, um, and it's one of the only ones from the house that I still really love. My relationship has changed with it slightly because I'm more used to it and have tried lots of other things, but I always come back to this and appreciate it. Um, here it is. Known as the King of Spring. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> the King of Spring, Mr. Green Irish Tweed or Git, as it's often known. <laughs> um, Dan and I both own this fragrance. Yeah. Um, not this bottle, we both, we're not sharing a bottle. I have um, a bit of a, a love-hate relationship with, with the House of Creed. We both do, don't we? Yeah. yeah. yeah maybe this is an interesting thing to, yeah, to discuss we'll say, as part so of it. Well, I mean, it is, uh, it's, it's very, I think, kind of overpriced, and especially is, some of the yeah. fragrances are, are just marketed as, uh, as luxury fragrances. Um, but this is one, when did it come out? Was it 90s? 1985. 80s, cracking, yeah. So this was before niche perfumery really became mm. a thing. I love that little label as well. You get that little soft kind of textured felt in it. It's very nice. I mean, I've got a black bottle, which is an old bottle, of, which they don't do now, which is 120 mil, which I think you've got as this well. This is one I've got. This is a, a newer bottle. Oh. I mean, it is beautiful. It's this kind of violet leaf. Yeah. It's this, so, which is really, it does smell like spring. It, to me, if, you know, if you want a green, springy, Walking in an Irish countryside thing. I love the Creed sprays. The old atomizers are, are really wonderful. Oh, it is, it is, it is bracing as well. And you do get 1985. This, this was a new yeah. smell. This, this created a wave of aquatics and. I mean, we should also say the other thing. It smells incredibly close to. Yes. It's cool, cool water. water. By Davidoff. And in, we, I mean, we might be done for libel here, but there is, there is talk that in mm. fact. Pierre Bourdon, who did Cool Water three years after this, may have been, we're not sure, may have been behind this as well. That's, I'm not saying that's fact, but... Yeah, that's a word on the Luke, Luca Turin certainly thinks so in his, in his but this, diet. But it is, you know, when I smell this, 
if you compare it to something like Cool Water, it is a bit ridiculous because from the outset we yeah. get, you do, I get, with this batch anyway, you get, um, I definitely get ambergris, uh, yeah. the feeling of that kind of ambergris, there there, there's away, sweetness it? and kind of saltiness and it just makes it more interesting and has more depth. Mm. I think, you know, for me, what's great about this is the fact that it was the precursor to so many of those, those fragrances which started a revolution, so CK1, CKB, yeah, yeah, Aqua yeah. Geo, Issey Miyake, Cool yep. water, all those things stemmed from the fact this, that yeah. this thing existed. Yeah. And I love the, the mossiness of it. Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I mean, I have to say now, you know, very few of the Creed lineup excite me because they do go for this luxury aspect. Yeah. And the prices are extortionate, really, compared to some of the things you can get yeah, out there. Yeah, they've also just changed their bottle sizes. They used to be um, 50 and 120, now they're just. 75 and 120. Sorry, 75 yeah. and 120. Yeah. Yeah. This is a 75. That's everything. Um, but it's yeah. now 50 and 100. And, it, they're getting and the prices have increased and the sizes have decreased. So how much is 100 mil of this? Now 100 mil, I think you're looking at, I don't want to misquote, but I think you're looking at about 180, Yeah, I was going to say 180, 185. I got, this, I got this for 99 back in the day in a Creed boutique, I think, in Antwerp. They sell, I think, France, I think I Notino remember. have 120 mil bottles of this for 135. Which is very reasonable. So they, they still sell the old bottles. And mm. they will do samples as well. So do try yeah, it before try you it. buy it. It's, um, I mean, it's nice. It's, it's, it's simple in its way. Mm. But I think as a spring fragrance for me, I will always come back to this. I mean, you do smell it. undeniably classy. It's it does smell yeah. expensive. It smells classy. Okay, right. If you had to choose one of mine to wear for spring, for, for all of spring, if you had to have all of spring and just one of them? For me, probably the Haeckels. Yeah. Which I think is absolutely that, one of the most stunning things. That would be my choice. Beautiful. Of yours. Now, I tell you. It's a tough one. I'm, I might sound like a hypocrite, but I think it would be Green Irish Tree. I'm, mm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I mean, no, that's all, great, all... that's great. Yeah, it's great stuff. As a spring fragrance, it yeah. does what it says on the tin. Sometimes that's what you need, isn't it's it? It's interesting because it's a house I kind of love to hate, but, yeah. but actually I can't help but enjoy this. Anyway, we've been um, talking for 27 minutes. 27 so this, minutes? I know, 27 minutes. Because we were really enjoying stuff, and we want you to enjoy spring. Yeah, and enjoy, enjoy spring, the because of spring. it's only here for half a day. But check these all out, and buy them, enjoy them, love yeah. them. Um, and We'll see you in a few days, maybe, with, with another video, if yeah. we get back here. But before then, hopefully, happy smelling. Bye! Bye!